said, I really hope I do never have to make again on a card fight project. And before we get into the video, if you've seen the title, no, there's no confirmation that Vanguard Zero has been canceled. So as you guys were probably hearing double there, because I forgot I had my volume on and no headphones, this was a video known as Card Fight Vanguard Zero Z. Yeah, Zero Z. Zero might be canceled. I made this. It premiered on December 13th, 2018, 12 days before Christmas. It is now um, uh, January 1st. And as of last night, Car uh, Card Fight Vanguard... Car Vanguard Zero English official announced its first update in friggin' forever about thanking everyone that played this um, Singapore thing. Now, if you guys follow this Twitter or you follow me on Twitter, which you should at Silver Wolf or or not at Silver Wolf, but at Silver Growlithe on Twitter. Um, I tried getting some information, so we're going to go through and we're going to follow the entire process of what they sent me through, and yeah, you guys can tell me if I'm right or wrong, I still, I'm still, i still up in the air about this, they're not giving good signs, nothing has changed since my last video on this topic, and the point of this, me covering any of this, the Vanguard Zero stuff, is to do one of two things get a following of people to look at and tweet at them or to just show the information that's currently being presented and how we're being treated you don't have to like this i don't like this but let's talk about this all right so the first tweet that i got last night from them was thank you to everyone who turned up for the vanguard zero singapore hands-on session hope you all enjoy yourself and don't forget to leave us your comments and reviews. Now, last time I checked, I'm pretty sure that the official Card Fight Online Twitter was since um, removed from Twitter. Um, but we get similar tweets like this when we were um, waiting for Card Fight Online. And, oh, no, Card Fight Online is still here. And please follow Card Fight English. Tweets and replies. Yeah, they didn't have too many tweets themselves, actually. Um, yeah. Also, all their past tweets are basically more or less gone. But we got similar stuff to this. So, I responded to this tweet. was, can we please get a release date or a status on what's going on? I'm glad you had a hands-on, but that leaves the rest of us in the dark. Which it does. Um, I don't... I don't know if anyone else tweeted back at them. I know it was mainly me. And then this was what I got back probably two hours later while I was in bed trying to sleep. The release will be in 2019. Shocker! We didn't know that all the way back at the start of December slash end of November. Thank you. Please refer to our full, annou full announcements at their website. We appreciate your continued patience and support. I sort of gave up on patience a long time ago. So I follow them to their website because I check on this daily. There's yet to be an update on anything. Let me just, um, no event, no maintenance, no notice. Well, there's notices, but nothing new. And this is the last notice they gave us all the way back in November. This is the officially last thing we've heard on this app besides hands-on events. Which, if anyone from Bushiro, anyone that's working on this game, whatever, sees this, I understand it takes time to make a game. But at the same time, the game looked surprisingly well from everyone we saw. Um, I'm pretty sure Diff Fight didn't have too many complaints. Your graph showed that you didn't have too many complaints. So this is what their last thing said. I know I read it last time. You can probably skip a couple seconds into the future and ignore this, but I'm going to read again. To our valued fans and supporters, we would like to inform you the release of the Vanguard Zero English version, initially scheduled for spring 2019, will be updated to to release to release in 2019. Later on, you know, later this year at some point, whenever they feel like it. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused to our supporters and fans who are looking forward to the mobile title. 
That's every player. We want a digital thing we can hold in our hand. And now, I don't have any problems with this. Honestly, I don't. But to be fair, Japan has gotten video game title after video game title. On the 3DS, they have at least three or four different titles. And this is only delaying the English release. There's nothing here. I mean, I'm assuming the Japanese release got delayed. I just haven't gone to the Japanese website to look at it. Because that would take... I would actually have to translate that, and I just don't have the time for that right now. And if that's the case, someone please let me know down in the comments, but... Uh, we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Yep, I already read that. The decision to postpone the release is so that we can further improve the visuals and overall game quality, such as My Room feature and general f card fighting mechanics. So, again, what I saw from Different Fight in a couple other videos was the mechanics looked fine. The visuals looked great. And if this is your concern, again, with the room and the area and the graphics, why not release the game as a beta title? You know, put it up on the store, let us play, and let us give you the feedback so that we can create the game together. If that is what you're worried about, the game looks functional. There doesn't need to be an online feature right now. No one cares. We want a digital game. Even if all we had was the story in the first set, a lot of people would be happy. Delivering the highest quality game to our utmost priority and deeming it to be lack in the present state, the decision we was made to extend the development time. Again, the game looked phenomenal. I don't know what you're... And I don't know how many other games Bushiro has actually progressed to make, but I feel like this is a problem they had with Cardfight Area or Cardfight Online. Cardfight Online was amazing. Yes, there was a few bugs, but you were playing a G series game using complicated mechanics. This phone should this game isn't that complicated to be fair. And if you release it, then maybe we could help, but it was the same thing back with online. It was just delayed. We want a better game. The game was good. I beta test. I spent probably 13 to 15 hours of the short time I had while working and going to school playing that game and enjoying the online experience. I mainly just played around with the trial decks and the online feature, but I had friends that played with the crafting mechanic that this, this, and this. It was a really fun game, and I'm really sad that we didn't get online, but... Information on progress and official delivery date will regularly be posted on Facebook and Twitter accounts. We greatly appreciate it. Appreciate on this. We also received much valued player feedback. And yeah, I mean, again, this is the first thing I've seen. I mean, I'm pretty sure they've had other announcements. Uh, stay tuned. That was December 12th. What is it? Uh, January 13th was their animation. More just, this is all hands-on stuff. And this is the problem is all you're giving us is hands-on stuff. We don't want hands-on. We need information about the game. How much do you watch Vanguard anime subbed or dub? It gets a lot of subbed. Again, it's all the same stuff that was here last time. So, me being me, I said this, they said that, I was like, again, not to sound rude, but at, but your last update was at the end of November and went went from spring to some point to whenever in 2019. And it, and it was like that for online. It will be released at the end of the year. No, s no, sorry, some point next year. And then it became at some point the nothing. Which, it looks like other people... Thing, trying to get my friend into card fight before zero releases. I um, need to hurry. I need this game. Hurry, please check it out. Can't wait. I wish it was more like actual Vanguard and not a completely different game with a Vanguard skin. Eh, yes and no. Um, is that how many people turned up for the playtest? Next big question is any specific date on... See, like, look at even this person wants a specific date. People are asking for a PC version. Um, 
let's see. And I go back to boop. So, and then they responded to me with this. The developers are putting in their maximum effort in order to create the, the best game they can. We will definitely share any new information as well and when we are able to. Meanwhile, we are planning for more hands-on sessions. Hands-on sessions are not helping. Hope you will be able to experience it soon. But the problem is, is not everyone can get to the hands-on session. You, this is a major problem. So if you guys care, and I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but if you guys really do care about this game, go over to this Twitter feed and type, I agree with, at Silver Growl. You know, let's, we need to make this known that this game is important to us. We got 400 views on the last video, 421 views, and people asking if this was fake. It's just, this is a problem with this right now. And their refusal or their lack of being able to share information with us is a problem. How about a weekly roadmap? How about something? Just give us updates. Let us know what. Are you rebuilding the game from the ground up? Because after you had your first hands-on test is when you roughly made this decision or somewhere in there. And so what you've rebuilt the game from the ground up we don't know what's going on bushiro you need to tell us but at this point i'm just rambling i'm letting you guys know i will be constantly messaging them trying to get information out of them hopefully i can get them to follow me dm me something but until next time guys i've been the silver wolf and i'll see you all later peace